and we'll use the multimeter to make sure the capacitors are discharged. Uh, this is especially important before hooking this up to the ESR meter, which can't tolerate much voltage on the capacitors. Okay, virtually no voltage on that cap, so that one's safe to proceed with. Let's check for ESR first. Our 470 microfarad capacitor is coming in at 551. Not bad, really. And the ESR is 0.1 ohms. Very good. As far as ESR, this capacitor is fine. Let's now check for leakage, parallel leakage. This device will test the capacitors under their working voltage load. Let's start with our little guy here, 25 volts at 470 microfarad. Okay, I'm gonna put this into leakage now. And we're looking for this eye to stay open at the working voltage of 25 volts. Let's ramp it up. And at 25, you can see it closes a little bit and then starts opening again. This capacitor is just fine. The ESR was fine and there is no parallel leakage. Looking for a shiny new gadget for your bench? Some good books on electronics, vintage hi-fi or old radios? Indispensable tools, cleaners or other products? Check out my new Amazon shop and help the channel. Lots of great products I actually own, use and recommend. Plus my thoughts on each one. Link in the description. To stay updated, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.